My name is Colin Minahan, and I'm the uh, director of the Mother Mother video. All the remains of our cadaver of days, I keep hidden away. Keep them there just in case, I wanna visit that place. Blow the dust from the bones, I For forgot. me, anyways, I, I haven't spoken to the band about it, so you might not want to even use this if I'm wrong. Um, but, you know, a body of years is just a, a period of time where, where shit can happen. So in this, it's kind of like this fish world starts from nothing and over a period of time, kind of like humans, they destroy each other and they end up destroying the city that they're in. The conversation I had was really about instead of making the performance element out of paper, let's just do the opposite. So now the narrative is, is an entire paper world and stop motion paper fish people and the performance is a live action element. Because I think that, you know, the last video of the band is seen only as, as paper cutouts, so it's something different about seeing, you know, a live band performance. I think that's gonna really help this video be different from the last video and bring it up another notch. There's a window that the band is actually playing inside the paper city, and I wanted the camera to go through this, this kind of gothic window and in order to do that on the day when we shot the performance we shot them just in a in a quick set that was built and painted red so that you could really be boxed in completely and basically because the camera starts so far back the set isn't big enough to actually be boxed in within the set and, and, and get the effects shot that I wanted. So we had to literally run the camera in and have people closing the set in on us as that was happening. So for a lot of it, I was stuck outside of the room for the first time, unable to even really see the, the performance with my own eyes as it was happening. So I was just looking over a little monitor instead. This shoot right here is really fun just because we're, we're burning the paper city. So my, my paper city builder, Caleb, he's getting to see all his, his hard work go up in flames at the end of the shoot. So I think he's actually happy though because he's kind of like, you know, taking a step back from it and he'll never touch paper again because all of the paperwork has really been put on his hands. He gets closure for sure. Originally, when we were, we were talking about just taking the paper city out to my producer's backyard and just burning it in his backyard and hoping the wind was right and we didn't burn his house down, but ultimately he picked up the slack and got, got a pyro guy involved to help us burn it properly and so here we are in a studio doing it where we won't be at risk, I guess. In the story, there's a paper airport and paper airplanes and they bomb the city. And what we're, what we're doing right now is the bomb's just fallen and the city's going up in flames. So hopefully it works out. Because you only get one shot, we've got one paper city. So we gotta get it right. Yeah. 